Hi, Matt from Invarian here, and welcome to the tutorial video on using the marker tools in Rapid Plan Online. The marker tools in Rapid Plan Online are object based tools that you will use when creating your plan. I will demonstrate each of these now and how each tool can be applied to your plan. Clicking or tapping on mobile devices on the markers tab will bring up the menu list of all the tools we can work with to complete your traffic control plan. To show how each of these tools will work in detail, I will turn off my base map and work on a blank canvas. To do this, come over to your layers tab and simply uncheck the enable map checkbox. I will also draw out a couple of roads to use for this demonstration. The first tool we have is the delineator tool. This allows you to insert delineator devices onto your road or work area. To begin, simply click or tap on the tool and draw out the delineators by clicking or tapping each control point out. When you have finished the final point, you can right click to finish using the tool or on mobile devices, tap the canvas button to cease using the tool. To change the properties of the delineator, I can left click or tap and hold to select the object. In the properties tab, you will then notice we have the object's properties. You can change the spacing, size and the type of delineator it is, whether it's cones, bollards, para webbing or any of the other selections that we have available. The work area tool allows you to mark out an area where the road works event or event will take place. Click on the work area tool to start, then start by clicking or tapping on a starting point for the work area. You can then mark out each control point where appropriate. And similar to other tools we use, just to right click or tap the canvas button to finish using it. You will now have your work area set out. You can also change its entry name in the properties palette. This is the text that will show in your legend or manifest. The safety zone tool works exactly the same as the work area tool, but draws in a different color. If you are needing to mark out a safety zone, this is the tool for it. The distance markers are used to measure out certain areas of your plan, whether it's between objects or a stretch of road. You can start by clicking or tapping on the distance marker and then you can measure out between two different points. You can also change the properties of the distance marker here. So you can manually change the measurement by setting mode from auto to text here. You can change the unit of measurement right down to the stroke color and its width. The combined distance marker allows for measuring of multiple distances as one, as demonstrated here. And the offset marker is the right choice if you are wanting measurements to be set off to the side, taking up less room on your plan. Other notable tools are the arrow tool, which draws an arrow on the plan. This can be useful if needing to show flow of traffic the angle tool, which precisely measures the angle between two points. The north arrow, which will place an arrow on the plan based on the map's bearing. An electronic arrow board. And finally, the train tracks tool. This works like the road object and can also be altered to be a tram track as well. That sums up the marker tools for Rapid Plan Online. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below to stay updated on new tutorials at Invarium.